Hello everyone, my name is Jamin. Thanks so much for visiting my channel. In this video, I have a Dell Latitude 11 Series 3190 model. I'm going to show you how to get inside, access your storage, and your memory. So first thing, power down your computer the correct way. Make sure it's off and unplugged from your charger. We're then going to flip your computer over to access our bottom case screws. After removing all seven screws, you're going to take a small, flat, plastic pry tool and go around the seam of the bottom case to pry it off from the rest of the computer. It's generally easier to start near the rear, near one of the two hinge assemblies, work your way in one direction, and if you get stuck, leave it, start on the other side, and go in the other direction. Also, be careful not to put your pry tool too far in. You could damage some internal components. Just keep it on the edge, go nice and slow and careful but firm, and you'll be able to get that bottom case off. Once you get your bottom case off, this is what you're looking at for the inside of your computer. Now as a general computer repair side note, whenever I'm working on a computer in my shop, it's sitting on an anti-static mat. Either that or an anti-static bracelet are great ideas to avoid damaging things in your computer when you're working on it. If you would like any help with any tools or supplies for your computer project, as well as any replacement or upgrade parts for this specific model, the 3190. There will be a link above, also below in the description. It will have all those tools and supplies and the replacement and upgrade parts for this model computer. Now, before I touch anything in a laptop, I always remove or at least unplug the battery. Computers are safest to work on when as little power as possible is running through them. The battery is right here near the bottom of my screen. It's held in by three screws near the red arrows. It plugs into the motherboard here near the green arrow. And there's a piece of black tape near the blue arrow that you have to undo to get that battery out. As far as the plug goes to unplug it, this goes for any wires or cables in a computer. Don't pull on the actual wire if you can help it, just manipulate the plug. If you pull on wires, sometimes it can damage them or it can pull the wires right out of the plug. So in this case is a grip on either side of that battery plug. You can use your fingernails or a pry tool to wiggle that right out of that port. Okay, so now that the battery has been removed, or again, at least unplugged, it's safe to proceed deeper into the computer. Uh, to get the RAM out of the way first, as you notice here, guys, there's no removable RAM in this computer. All you have for RAM is onboard. It's soldered to the motherboard. The only way that you can increase your RAM is to swap out your motherboard uh, for a motherboard with a higher RAM amount. So as far as RAM, unfortunately, you can't upgrade your RAM at all with this computer. Uh, moving on to the storage, you do have a single M.2 SATA port right here for a solid state drive. Uh, the maximum value for this computer for your storage, I believe, is 256 uh, gigabytes, according to the user manual. So as you can see, this takes the smaller solid state drives here, but it also takes the longer 2280s that will screw down here. So below in the description in that link I told you about with all the replacement and upgrade parts, I will include a smaller 128 gigabyte solid state drive. If yours went bad and you're looking to replace it and keep the cost as low as possible, but if you're looking for a slight upgrade, I will also include a longer 2280 and that will be a 256 gigabyte for a little upgrade there. If you guys would like any help understanding the differences between hard drives and various types of solid state drives, I will have a video link above, also below in the description, and that will be a quick introductory overview of how hard drives and various kinds of solid state drives are different from each other and how they may work better in different situations. And I guess the last thing to mention about installing a new solid state drive if you do install a new one, you may need to install an operating system onto it afterwards. If you would like help with that, I will have two different video tutorial links below in the description. One will show you how to install Windows 10 onto a Dell laptop. The other will show you how to install Windows 11. Uh, but that's it for this video, how to get inside your Latitude 3190 and access your storage and your memory. Thanks again so much for watching. Uh, please remember to like and share if this helped you out, if you think it can help someone else out. And feel free to subscribe if you enjoy DIY computer content like this, or if you just want to keep me on hand to answer any of your future computer questions. I do try to answer all questions throughout my channel at least a couple times a day. 
Also, feel free to check out the related link section below in the description. From time to time, I do try to add things in there that I think will help you uh, with your general computer life, make it more productive, more enjoyable. So thanks again for watching, everyone. I look forward to seeing you on my next video.